Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Cricut project. So today we are going to be whipping up a few Cricut Cruise shirts with my Cricut Maker 3 and the Easy Press. Mom and I are going on a trip, y'all, to Europe. And we are going to be sharing the entire thing here on YouTube. Don't worry, you'll see the whole vacation. We're not going for a little bit, but we're very excited. So I'm prepping by hopping into the Cricut Access Library and whipping up a few new shirts. We like to make Cricut shirts, of course, matching family shirts. So for this project, I'm going to be layering a little bit of Beeswell ink and iron on because I want to show you how to put two different materials on one shirt with your Easy Press. This is an actually pretty easy project. Um, I didn't run into any snags and I don't think you will either. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Cannot wait for y'all to see the project and the Europe trip. Can't wait to go. Pray for us, y'all. See you in a second. All right, y'all, I'm really excited about this. First of all, last time I made cruise t-shirts, I used a really pretty holographic iron-on and this time, infusible ink layered with iron-on. I think it's gonna be really dramatic and easy to read. Plus, last time it was me, my mom, and my brother. This time it's just me and my mama. So we can actually have matching shirts. We're gonna get started by setting everything up. Now, since it is infusible ink, we have to use infusible ink blanks. So I've grabbed a couple of these men's sizes and I've also grabbed a few of the women's sizes. Um, it just depends on your preference. The women's fit is fitted and the men's fit is more of a traditional t-shirt. They're both so soft. I find that for us uh, curvy girls, the men's sizes fit just a little better. But I do like, oh, I made a Outlander themed shirt with one of the fitted infusible ink shirts. I swear y'all, I wear it like once or twice a month. All right, let's get this set up. So I am using my Maker 3 so that I can use that smart iron on without a cutting mat. But we are still going to need a cutting mat for our infusible ink. So let me grab that real quick. All right. So I was going to do a quick transition, but when you open your infusible ink, just remember that the colors you see are not the colors they will end up being. These colors will darken as they heat up. So if we turn this guy over, we've got the dark color, the light teal, the the medium blue and the dark teal. So I'm going to go with this color here, which should be this lighter teal for our t-shirts. Thought it looked a little bit like water. Perfect. Make sure when you're using infusible ink, you are always using clean, dry hands because it is ink. Like the, the top of this is ink which means if you get it wet, it will smear. That's also why they come in boxes instead of just on rolls. They have to straight dark or they will fade. All right. Perfect. All right, y'all. Go ahead and use our brayer that is also clean and dry to make sure that iron-on has a really good bond. And now we're actually gonna set it aside. So I've prepped two of these because we're making two shirts. If you're only making one shirt, you only need one. If you're making some for your whole family, you might need a whole bunch. <laughs> uh, I have a friend who cruises with her whole family and she literally brings like 20, 30 people and she makes them all shirts. But it's so much fun to be on the ship and to have custom family shirts. I don't know why. Yes, we are the type of family that wears matching pajamas on Christmas. Maybe that's, maybe cruise shirts are an extension of that. I'm not really sure. I just know I like it. My brother doesn't. Husband did. <laughs> 
He thought it was great. Dad never did. Oh, you know, I think it's a... Goodness gracious, this doesn't want to come out. I think it just depends on the person. Mom and I like it. So here is our iron-on, and we are going to use this. This is smart iron-on, so we can put it right in without a cutting mat. This is one of the long rolls, so I did grab my roll holder. Makes it super easy, but you can see here, this is the shiny side, this is the matte side. So this shiny is our clear protective sheet. We're going to put it in upside down. We're going to make sure that our material is, or our design is mirrored in design space. I'm actually gonna back this up and then slide it under those guides. Perfect, all set. Okay, so now we are in Cricut Design Space and we're going to prep our file, starting by searching for a cruise image. So I typed cruise in the search bar and up top, we're gonna click view all for images. Now I've already looked through the one I like is 24 rows down. I counted and it says, dun, 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 dun. 24 rows y'all on cruise control. So I liked this little image right here because this is a saying my mom says a lot and I think she will appreciate it. So I'm gonna add that to my blank canvas and now I'm going to add a few extra details. So because we're going to be layering infusible ink and iron on, I went ahead and copy and pasted that image and I'm going to make an offset path to a behind my design that can be infusible ink. So all I'm doing here is grabbing some shapes. I want to cover over all of these words and the empty cutouts on the image so that we can weld them and make one solid ship design. And if I was smart, I would have made this gray square black. That way at the end, I didn't have to go through and make every single gray square black, but it's not like it's difficult. So honestly, like I'm sure there is a faster, quicker, more beautiful way to do this, but I find that just literally adding shapes over all of the cutouts is easy enough. So I just copy, I paste my little shapes, I put them over the cutouts, and then we'll weld them. I decided I needed a rectangle. There we go. As a graphic designer used to Illustrator and being able to just draw a vector of anything, this is infuriating. <laughs> but it's not a hard solution. It's pretty simple to do. All right, one last shape. I'm not sure, but I think there's a sliver right here. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of my gray shapes and I'm going to make them black. I figure out after a couple that it makes no sense to do them one at a time. Go ahead and select all of the gray. There we go, Betsy, you got it. Past Betsy is just killing it. All right, and now black. Perfect, so now we can grab this entire area and we're just gonna weld it together so it's now one layer. Now we can take that layer, add an offset path, adjust it to be larger, 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 hit apply, perfect. And now we have an offset path that we can put behind our design. I'm just gonna line it up with the align tool I am going to go ahead and delete that extra ship and move our offset path to the back. Now when I make that offset path a different color, like pink, you can really see the background through those words and that's what we are looking for. So you will be able to see through the iron on to the infusible ink. So now before we hit make it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add some text. So 
I just added a text block and I'm typing out 2022 European, I'll fix that in a second, vacation. I'm going to add the 2022 up top here and the European vacation below. That way we know which vacation this shirt was from. And mom and I like to wear our shirts when we go other places, do other things, kind of like a souvenir. So it's fun if you can put the exact kind of place you go or year you went. At least we think it's fun. There we go. European. <laughs> Not Europe. European. Perfect. So now we're going to grab all three of those black layers. And instead of welding, we're going to attach them. That way we can unattach them later if need be. Now they will all cut on the same cutting mat and we won't have to piece them together on our shirt. Last but not least, we are going to make the entire design, select the entire design, the right size for our shirts, which for an adult female shirt, I find to be between eight and nine inches. Then hit make it. And for this design, we're going to click multiple ways because we're going to use our smart iron on without the mat and the infusible ink with a mat. I clicked two and apply to multiply everything for two shirts. And now I'm just mirroring everything. All three things need to be mirrored. Perfect. Now we're going to hit make it, make it, make it. We are going to select smart iron on for our first cutting mat. Perfect. We're not going to change the pressure here. And we're going to hit go. It will measure our length. If we don't have enough material, it won't cut it. So that's always important with smart materials. There we go. And this baby, when it is cutting smart materials, cuts fast. This is a lot of little details for those letters, and it is whipping through it. Okay, so now it's done cutting. And before we expel it from the machine, we're going to go ahead slice right across perfect now we can go ahead and set this aside because we are done with the iron on for this project and now when we expel our cut we have come on the sun is just not participating today i'm trying to show it to you Maybe, maybe if I shade it a little, there you go. You can see it right there. Look, cuts, it's cut y'all. <laughs> I know I'm a goober. All right. So now we're going to set the iron on its side. We will need to weed it, but not this minute. First, we're going to go ahead and cut our infusible ink. So we will set the Cricut. Make sure that we select our infusible ink and that we will have to search for this one. So click browse all materials. Perfect. And now we're just going to type in infusible ink. Select it. Done. And again, we don't need more pressure. Anything with a clear protective backing, I leave on default because you don't want to cut through the backing. It's going to measure our mat length once again. And then it will cut. And since this is a simple outline, this is just that offset path, that ship is going to cut so fast, like hella fast. All right, it's detecting our fine point blade and then it will get going. All right, so I set my Cricut Design Space app to infusible ink and it tells me, of course, to make sure mirror is turned on and the material is ink side up. So it's going to check my cutting mat and then it will cut out our ship. And this is literally an outline and so it should be like super speedy. I'm gonna leave this one in real time because it's literally an outline. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Oh, almost exactly 10 seconds. All right, unload the material. And we have a ship. 
Let's cut mom's ship and then we will move on to layering these guys on our t-shirts. Just a quick reminder that when you are removing infusible ink or any other light material, cardstock, paper, vinyl is fine, but anything that's papery that could curl or get creased, you want to hold down, curl your cutting mat away from your material. All right. Now we're going to cut mom's. Okay, so now we've got our infusible ink sheets and we've got our two smart iron-on sheets. I went ahead and cut these everything down in a part so we just have our design. So we set this aside for just a moment. Our infusible ink sheets are very easy to weed. We are simply going to get a corner or a part of this outside edge without the backing. And we're going to peel it up. There we go. Sorry, my finger's stuck. My finger's stuck. All right. Now you don't want to use a weeding tool with infusible ink because it can rip it, um, rip your design but it's very, it's very stiff. So it comes up easy peasy with just your fingers. There you go. <coughs> well, now we have our little blue ship. It's going to be the same color as our Cricut. <laughs> our maker three. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this to the side. You want to make sure you preserve the sticky. So don't put it sticky side down, put it sticky side up. And I usually just a just a tip. I just put something like my brayer in the middle and it just holds it down. doesn't matter what it is as long as it keeps it safe. I tend to reach for the brayer. All right. We'll do the other ship, but I am going to use my light pad for the black iron on today. Typically, I don't need it, but it is really dark in here today for some reason. Even though, like, the sun is starting to come out, it is brighter than earlier. It just seems really dark today. Okay, so I went and I grabbed my Bright 360, and here is without the light. Here is with the light. Look at those cut lines. We are going to be able to see for days. So, lesson learned. The uh, <laughs> the bright pad is great for white, and the bright 360, great for black. Who knew? So now we are just going to come in, and all of these lines here, we are going to weed out. I thought it would peel, 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 but it needs a little more help, help, help. It's okay. At least I can see what I'm doing. And my head is up by the phone, by the camera, because I don't want it in the shot. And y'all, I'm blind. I mean, that's part of my problem. <laughs> but if I can see from up here when I could not see close up before, a big difference. Iron on is so much fun to weed. Pretty much, I mean, vinyl's not bad, but again, I'm blind. So it just, vinyl always gives me trouble. I love infusible ink. I love cardstock. I love infusible ink. Again, iron on. Things that are easy to weed. That's one reason why I will don't do as many vinyl projects. I do a lot of projects where I can iron things. And you can iron. I just ironed on sticker paper. 
I put our layered iron on on sticker paper. I've ironed on a wood. I've ironed on to aluminum. Like, y'all, you can add iron on to a lot of stuff. All right, well, I've got two of these to do. So now that we've got it sorted out, let's zoom it up. Okay. All we did. My dogs have decided to play. They're having a good time, living it up. Let's go ahead, do the second one. All right, everything's weeded. Now I did wanna show you that I, like a really smart person, I actually sliced off the E when I was trimming this. Sliced it right off. So all I did was I went ahead and re-sliced it in the right place. And then I put some heat resistant tape on the back of this to tape the two pieces together. And while typically if I was just doing iron on, I would not worry about this whole strip. I would have just done the E, literally just cut out the E, taped it on. Since, by Bright360, thank you for your service. Since we are going to be doing the iron on after the infusible ink, we're layering it together. The This backing needs to be able to cover all of this infusible ink once it's on the shirt and protect it from our easy press. Otherwise, we could burn the very tip right here of this little ship if it is not protected by the sheet. So that is literally the only reason I went ahead and sliced it all the way across. Otherwise, I would have just done the E and called it a day. So if you make a problem with something like iron on or easy press and that you just cut up a, a letter off, like it wasn't, I sliced through part of the design, you just, just tape it back on. Just tape it back on. I've done it a million times. I try very hard to pay attention, but y'all, the girl is absent-minded and luckily Cricut is forgiving. You do not have to be a perfectionist, perfect, amazing person to make cool stuff with Cricut. So now that we have everything weeded and ready to go, I'm going to reconfigure here, get out our Easy Press mat and our shirts, and we are going to iron these babies on, make our shirts. Okay, so I've got my infusible ink shirt. I've got my Easy press mat. I have lined up my t-shirt so that it is even and we've got a nice flat surface here. So I am going to put just a piece of cardstock inside. And this just keeps the infusible ink from bleeding through from the front of the shirt to the back of the shirt. I've never had a problem with it, but just always find it's best to follow instructions and that's in the instructions. Right. All right, so this is a brand new shirt right out of the package, but I have five dogs, y'all. So I am already, already noticing dog hair. Go ahead and just give it a roll with the old lint roller there. Smooth it out. We are going to go ahead and just iron it just a little bit. I always like to get those wrinkles out a smidge before I put my design down. So you don't want those designs bonding to a wrinkle. All right, so I did go ahead and I set my easy press for 385 and 40 seconds, which is what we need for our infusible ink. And now we're going to place our design. So this is a two-part process here because we have two layers. So 
First, I am just going to go ahead and uh, line these up because I can't just line up our infusible ink on our t-shirt. We won't know if the rest of it is lined up. So now, being very careful not to scratch that infusible ink in any way. Make sure this is smooth. The middle, the exact middle of this is the eye here. So we're gonna go right up from the eye, four fingers down from the neck, eye in the middle. And make sure we put it on straight. Perfect, so now I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna take the iron on off. At this point I need to make sure this stays straight because otherwise the overall design won't be straight. So smooth it on. I'm gonna use a smidge of heat resistant washi tape. Just make sure this guy doesn't move because if it moves at all while we're pressing it with the easy press, we'll get this weird, hazy, shadowy look. All right. All right, so now we're going to very carefully pick up our easy press. We're going to make sure it covers the entire design. We're going to place it down. Once you place it, you don't want it to move until it's done or you'll get that hazy shadowy effect. So we just hit the button and we're going to leave it completely still for 40 seconds. All right, now pick it straight up, out moving it around, place it back on the base. And now we have two options. We can move this aside and do our second shirt, or we can finish with this shirt. And while it would be easier with the heat press, the easy press to just do the second shirt now, cause we do need to let this cool. I don't like to move my infusible ink pieces while I'm working on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn my easy press to 315. and 30 seconds. And it's gonna take this guy just a second to cool down. And we're just gonna wait. And we're gonna let this cool down. You can see it's already starting to peel up. Once it's starting to peel up and it's cool, you can remove it and it should be perfect. So hopefully by the time this has reached 315, this will be cool and we can go ahead and do our iron on layer. We're at 372, 385, and this baby is really curling. So I think by the time our easy press hits 315, we're going to be good to go. If I can see the tail, I know every single time I do an infusible ink project that the color on the infusible ink sheets and the color on the box don't match. And at the end, it always turns out to look like the color on the box. But it always, every single time I'm like, this is the one time it's not going to work. But man, that's teal. That is not light blue, y'all. Wait till you see it. All right, so we've reached 315. And this baby is pretty much all curled up. So we're going to go ahead and reveal it. Oh, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. We had a little bit right here that didn't transfer for whatever reason, probably just something I did, but I'm not super worried about it because we've got our iron on going on it. So I love infusible ink. It always looks so cool. All right. So now we are going to go ahead. We're going to line it up with our iron on. Make sure everything's straight and then press it down, press it down. All right. Now we will make sure that our iron on is completely covering our easy press the iron on. It is. Dun, 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 dun. 
So now, without disturbing the iron on, we are going to pick this baby up and flip it over. I am going to remove, remove the cardstock from inside. And I just, I'm trying not to wrinkle the front at all. There we go. I don't know if you can see it, but I can feel where that protective sheeting is. So now we are going to switch this to 15 seconds. And we are going to do it from the back. And you can put light pressure on for iron on. I probably should have done that on the front, so we'll see. I'm going to iron around real slightly just in case I wasn't completely over everything. And now we will wait until it cools off and we'll do a cold peel. It's not 100% cool yet, but we're going to flip it over so that it can get air from the top. And I did want to point out real quick that see where this line is? If we hadn't have spliced this E on the way we did, it definitely would have hit that iron on or infusible ink and messed up the entire tip of our little cruise ship. That would have been tragic. The easy press is already heated back up to 385. It always goes up so much faster. As always, no transfer on the cardstock, but that one time it does, I just want to be careful. All right, it is cool to the touch. Time for our European vacation. I don't know why this always makes me so nervous that like something's not going to be stuck. It's always fine. It's always stuck. I use the proper tools, it works out. I still get nervous because I'm a nervous Nelly. Oh, I love that blue. I think this would be fun with like one of the mermaid scale infusible inks in the back, but my mom really wanted the teal. All right. All set. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna whip up the second one now that my easy press is back to 385. And then I'll be back to show you both of them together. All right, y'all. So we have my shirt. Dun, 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 dun. So this is on the men's 3XL. And you can see how long it is. Dun, dun, dun. And then mom's shirt. And mom wanted the women's fitted shirt. I'll leave links for both down below. But you can see hers has the V-neck and is not nearly as long. It also has this kind of a scoop at the bottom, which she really likes. But... It works better. I I like longer shirts. I have a long torso. Mom has a short torso, so I think that's probably why. But y'all, matching shirts. So we will be sharing these when we go on our trip. So if you want to see them in action, head over to Instagram. I will leave a link below whenever I post a picture of us wearing these on our European vacation. And if you want to check out the entire European vacation, head over to this channel, hit subscribe, turn on the notifications, hit the bell, because mom and I are going to be sharing all the videos from all our fun excursions while we are on our big fancy trip. But for now, this is my iron-on on infusible ink layering tutorial slash awesome Cricut Cruise shirt 
video. So hope you guys liked it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.